Just last week, I had the most traumatic, spine-chilling, goosebump-inducing night of my life. So by now, most of you should have realized that I have a new filming setup that resembles the back room of a shady KTV lounge where drug deals happen. But my house is neat, clean, it smells great, and I like it for now. But it hasn't always been paradise here at Sneaky Sushi headquarters. And truth be told, I had a horrible, horrible moving experience the last few weeks. Because little did I know that this unit had other guests staying in it. <laughs> So if you would, please allow me to tell you a little story about my moving experience. So um, sit down, get comfortable, grab a titty and get ready to suckle on some warm milk as I tell you this bedtime story. So this is the unit that I'm currently staying in. This video was taken when I went for the viewing of the unit about two months ago. And yeah, it looks nice. It looks seemingly clean. With all the kid drawings plastered onto the wall, I thought I entered a nursery, but that's okay because the landlord promised to get professional cleaners to polish this place up before I move in. So I agreed to this unit and I sealed the fate of my bad financial decision of renting a condo. Two months go by and wow, it's move-in day. I was super excited to move in because I really value privacy a lot. And I've always wanted to live on my own because I'm just that cool. So this day was a very exciting day for me. I spent the whole day unpacking my stuff, coordinating my furniture deliveries. And before I knew it, it was night time. But that's when things went sideways. I still remember this dreadful night like it was yesterday. This memory will probably be etched in my subconscious for many years to come. So I was hungry and I decided to whip up my favourite instant ramen. And since it was my first night there, every mundane thing I did felt special. Like cooking my first meal, watching my first Netflix show in the house, wiping my ass for the first time. Everything felt special in this new place. And, and I remember this so vividly as I was reaching for my utensils on the kitchen counter. I saw, I saw a little insect crawling crawling around my utensil and I thought oh that's that's cute oh it looks like a little baby cockroach a, a little a little cock a little cock that's what I'm gonna call these guys now little cocks so I flicked that baby cock away and continued cooking my ramen two minutes later I saw a slightly bigger cock right beside me on the wall making its way downtown to the sink and I thought wow that cock must be really thirsty naughty 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 cock. I grabbed the tissue, rubbed it against the wall and it squirted. Cleaned up the wall, continue making my ramen. A, a quick kill, you call it a quickie. But a few more minutes go by and I notice another cockroach, this time a slightly bigger one, crawling on the kitchen floor. And I thought, fuck, what is going on? Within five minutes, I had already seen three of these cockroaches. This isn't normal, seeing one cockroach every few days, that's fine, that's totally normal. But three cockroaches in a day, three no, that's, that's insane. Nobody can handle three cocks a day. So I left the stove and went in search of more of these cockroaches, which in hindsight, I shouldn't have done because it was about to scar me for the rest of my life. So I searched around the house. You know, I was looking in every nook and cranny of the house, paying close attention to the floor to spot these little bastards. And oh my God, I'm not even joking. Everywhere that I looked, I could find a cockroach just, just chilling just chilling in their home that I have intruded upon. There were cockroaches in my cabinet. They were crawling on the floor. I even saw them having a town council behind my mirror. It was a fucking nightmare. And these cockroaches were a little different from your regular, you know, large American and German cockroaches. They were, as I've learned, brown banded cockroaches, which were tougher to eradicate and slightly smaller, which is surprising considering that these cocks originated from Africa. And this unit was infested with brown banded cockroaches. In that one night alone, I killed and I countered at least 15 cockroaches and they were still reappearing. It was like I was in a custom game server with an evil admin just mass spawning these cockroaches just to fuck with me. At this point, I was already considering leaving the house because I was clearly being outnumbered by my enemies. I was not prepared for this ambush. I mean, I was being attacked from all angles. My tissue paper reserves were running low. I had no more ammunition. I had no more ammunition to combat these these bandits and my morale was extremely low. I was fighting a losing battle, but I decided to give one final push, the final battle, and I fought my way through into the master bedroom and oh lord, was I not ready for what's to come. I remember opening my wardrobe with weary, trembling hands. I carefully pulled back the sliding door and lo and behold, in a dimly lit corner of my wardrobe sat the most plump, most prosperous looking cockroach I've ever seen. There I was, face to face with the queen of the brown banded bandits. She was waiting for me. She knew, she knew that I was coming. She knew that the wardrobe was the last place that I would look. And she conveniently placed herself right beside my favorite t-shirt. Coincidence? I think not. It was a calculated attack. A calculated attack to humiliate me in front of a comrade. And she did it to perfection. She did it so well. She executed it so well that it shattered my confidence and I was literally blown away by that fat cock. I turned around and saw another one of her compatriots wriggling his way across my bed. 
Oh no. No. Hell no. Not on my bed. That was the final blow. I I was defeated. I concede defeat. I, I could no longer stay in the trenches of this battlefront. I had to surrender. I grabbed my phone and my wallet and I booked it. I was out of there. I did one of those um running walks out of the house, you know. No, fuck. No, no, no. I don't even think I was wearing any underwear at that point because I just wanted to leave the house ASAP. At this point, it was already 2 a.m. in the middle of the night. I booked a taxi and I went back home to my family house. In the cab, I texted my real estate agent like, what, what, what the, f what is going on? What the fuck is this shit? This place is inhabitable. It's, I can't stay here. What, why didn't you tell me about this, about this infestation, you stupid little bitch? Okay, maybe I didn't say that, but I communicated my discontent with much enthusiasm. So my agent arranged for pest control to come over the very next day. And this was what happened. This is my hero, my savior, wielding his metal drum of justice, Mr. Tay. Tay was a professional pest killer and he knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly where to look for them and immediately began his bloodthirsty headhunt. Like seriously, Tay seemed to really to really enjoy killing the cockroaches. I even heard him chuckle a few times whenever he killed a cockroach. Like it's it's a bit it's a bit creepy, but but whatever gets the job done, man. Within minutes, bodies started dropping. The brown bandit bandits were fleeing from their safe house. The tides were turning. And it honestly felt good to be able to stick it in my enemy's face. Even babies weren't shown mercy. Tay spent the next hour spraying every inch of the apartment with his micro capsule solution, which apparently kills these cockroaches upon contact. The micro capsule formula. So what happens is that uh, it actually helps to control whatever surfaces. This is not a recurring effect. Mm. is to kill one. Uh. I mean, the guy knew what he was doing. There was this um spark in his eyes and he seemed to really love his job. So big shout out to Tay and his company, WTG Pest Control. I highly recommend Tay if you're looking to get rid of any pests in your home. This isn't a sponsored segment, I just really liked Tay's attitude. He even taught me how to deal with various pests and shared some knowledge about the brown bandit cockroach. The Ansel and our past, the fog of war cleared. And what remained were the beaten bodies of my enemies. I bid farewell to Tay and thanked him for his allegiance. Until today, I haven't seen a single cockroach roaming these streets. One thing still bothers me though, I didn't find the body of the fat queen, the queen of the brown bandit bandits. So I have no idea where she went. Perhaps she's laying dead in her hideout. Or, or, just maybe, she's conspiring against me this very minute, preparing for her next invasion to take back her motherland. But till then, I'll enjoy this temporary peace in my humble abode and sleep with one eye open in the trenches. And that's the story of my move-in experience. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed that story. And I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. Oh, uh, a shitty house tour video coming up next. Probably, I, I probably, yeah, it's probably coming up next. Okay, bye.